So hi everybody and welcome back. This is the Unreal Engine 5 tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video 170 and in this video I want to talk about a tool which is called Sizemap and with this tool we can analyze our code a little bit. And let me show you what the size map is. I go to my content, I click my game folder here. And then while I click this one, I click now right click to this one. And you can see here we have options and one option it says size map. When I click on this one, you see this window is popping up. And this window has here information which we have to discuss a little bit. First of all, what is that? This uh, window shows us, for example, here when we see this little thing here, it says this size. So it shows us all the content what we have and how much they take in this size. And we can switch this here to memory size, which is a little bit lower, but let's stick with the this size here and let's see why this is important for us or why it is not important for us. First of all, why is this important for us? For example, to optimize uh, our disk space. You say, perhaps you are interested to reducing your disk space. You say, I want not, uh, I have a limited space or I won't make it uh, as uh, little as possible. Then this tool can help you a little bit, not too much, but it can help you. So. First of all, it shows you what is taking much space on your uh, project. For example, in my project here, when I see these big numbers here, this 100 here, 200, here are 200, then I can uh, try to check out what this is. First of all, I don't know what this is, so let's see what this is. I scroll in, so with the scroll wheel, I go to this one and then I can scroll and scroll in. And I find out this 220, for example, here, megabytes, is a texture called T Alpine. And then I can try to find this one in my content drawer. Let's go here. I write here uh, T underscore that what it says, Alpine. And here I can find it. Then I click here to content, all content. And you see it's popping up. So then I see this one is a texture. The T indicated it already, and the texture is very big. One texture with 220 megabytes. So that sounds crazy for one texture. Let's double click on this texture here and read here on. I have I have docked it here on the top, by the way, so it's easier. Then and let's dock this one also on the top. So now we can switch here. So here is this texture which I opened. And you can see here on the right side in the details panel here on top, there are some infos. And this texture is an 8K texture, which indicates here the resolution is here uh, 8K 8192 by 8192. So this is an 8K texture. And in general, um, uh, textures with high resolution take much, much, much space. And that's why we have here this crazy number with <laughs> 200. So I go back here a little bit. We are back to our, uh, our map here. And then you can examine these places. But the next question is, yes, okay. I found out that this one takes so much space, but how I can optimize this? Is this possible or not? Um, not directly, because first of all, you have to think, um, do I need 8K textures for my project or do I need 8K textures for this particular place? And then you can try to make optimizations. For example, what I don't understand is, for example, in this example here, uh, I have this 8K textures, right? That's okay. On textures, let's say textures, okay, I need this 8K here. Really, I need it for super graphics. That makes sense. But the question is, we have here a normal map, right? A normal map is more or less just height information. Let me click this one here and dock this here on top too. The question is, 
Do you really need for a normal map also 8 card textures? That's, I don't know, that makes no sense anyhow. At least from, I'm not a designer. And the designer who studied this kind of stuff, um, probably they know it more, but from my perspective, uh, with no knowledge, I would say, no, I could, I could use here anything really, really low instead of 8K, right? So here, textures, okay, use 8K textures, but a normal use, I don't know, 2 car or even less one car or not even more or less so this could be an optimization process where you say uh, change the normal settings here to uh, for example here all the normals to 1k or even less uh, because normally i think you don't need for a normal really eight car that makes no sense and the difference is huge why it's huge because here you can see um it was one of this one anyway let's take this one so because it takes not uh, this one is the diffuse match uh diffuse uh texture here it says t alpine diffuse that's okay but uh, but i think the normal here is also very big at least it's not i don't know where it is but that's not important important is that it shows here this texture here is probably using this one here as well in a material and in the material then you can dive into the material let's try to see where it is you can right click and use this find ref uh, reference area then you see where this material here is used for example this one is used for example this texture is calling this one here but it is used in this material gt grass let's go here can i go in browse to asset and then i double click on it and i can see uh, it is used here so what do we have here we have no texture that was my example or what Perhaps <laughs> I have not connected here a normal interesting. All right, it was my example or what? <laughs> yeah, crazy. Anyway, important is now um, you have to check if this kind of normal is connected. For example, here in this example, I think I made this example anywhere. I have not even connected this normal here. So that's good, <laughs> but not good quality of uh, texture. <laughs> Normally, um, if you want to make a better quality, you have to connect this normal as well. But here at this point, you can think, should I really connect a 8 card texture normal? Because that makes not sense, at least not for me right now, because it is just height map. It just gives you just the depth and the height and for this kind of stuff you don't need a really high texture uh, here it makes more sense to make the the texture which is the graphics on the painting and on the stuff there that makes sense to give it a higher texture to look uh, the um, the quality so it looks good if you need it and yeah i think you get the idea what i want to point out is that with this kind of stuff you can really try to optimize your game and find oh my god there is too high textures i should reduce them and there are options for materials and most time you can see it it's most time uh, materials which is taking a lot of space here all the big numbers here in my project actually are textures and these textures are mostly 8k or 4k textures and then if you try to optimize this like i said one way is say the normals we can reduce and there are many many optimization pro, uh, to things and tools uh, and ideas uh, which you should research but this tool is just to show you where you can go and try to replace this uh, step by step if you are interested in this one so in my case i was for example I uh, tried to make a mobile game and then 
uh, in mobile games, this one is very important, uh, mostly because you don't want to have big numbers like this one on mobiles. And let me show you one more thing here. For example, let's compare this texture that was our 8K texture to our low level, low level texture. And the difference is crazy. And let me go here to this. I have your project low level and here textures and here let's watch grass. What is that materials? Let's let's see. Let's go and find just. Uh, I want to see something like meshes. Let's give me a mesh. Yeah, let's see when I comp uh, compare this one texture with 200. 20 megabytes to one um one grass this is low level poly and let me show you right click on this one and now i go here to size map and this is crazy this whole thing here is just 1.3 megabyte right and when i try to find now here in this kind of texture look this one here the, here, this is the texture section of this grass, right? This red thing here. Look this number. This one is um, <laughs> 100 kilo, uh, kilobytes almost, which is nothing compared to one uh, that was here around. This 8K textures was around one uh, 200 megabytes for 100 kilobytes. And you can see it makes really sense to replace them, uh, perhaps not with this one here. This is really low level poly, but um, go down to 1K, 2K, depends on your needs and to think about this. Uh, yeah, and I think I don't go too much into this because you have to research this. I wanted to give you just this uh, tool, which is really nice to find your big uh, files and optimize them perhaps. All right, with that said, I think I stop here. If you have any questions or any complaints like all time, write it in the comments and yeah, good luck and bye.